Hi everyone, so this is going to be my septum and conch video update because um, I got my septum pierced quite a long time ago and my conches a little while ago and I haven't made an update video on either of them so I thought that I would combine that. Um, neither of those piercings actually hurt when you're getting them done but the healing process is what um, does have um, a few complications and a few things that people don't really anticipate. Uh, so that's why I wrote down my experience just so that I wouldn't ramble so much and I just, you know, would get my point across. Um, so I'm just gonna read it to you. Um, as you can see, I changed my septum. This is from Crazy Factory. This was featured in my last haul. So if you want to know how much this costs and all of that, you can check that video out. Um, so, the septum. Getting your septum pierced doesn't necessarily hurt. For me it was about two and a half on a scale of one to ten. It's more of a sting, but it will definitely make your eyes water. Now the healing process is what really hurts. After getting it pierced, your body starts developing this flesh tunnel. Um, this happens to all piercings. Uh, during the healing process, um, the, th the tunnel is very thin and delicate and when your body starts producing this white liquid, which by the way is completely normal, a lot of people confuse it with pus, but actually your body is cleaning the piercing and the hole to, pre to prevent it from getting dirty. This happens to every single piercing. When the liquid dries, it forms into a white crust and believe me when I say that if you get your septum pierced, you will forget that it is there sometimes and you may move it um, or hit your nose, which also moves your piercing. It doesn't even matter how big the crust is, um, it can be smaller than a millimeter, but when it goes through the thin tunnel, I can only describe it as true uh, torture. It feels like little shards of glass are ripping the skin. It quickly becomes very annoying and you get really frustrated, especially when it happens frequently during the day. But the good thing is that the worst will be over in around two weeks, um, or at least for me it was. So. One of the reasons why I got my septum pierced is because I watched a lot of videos about septum piercings before I got mine done and they all said that getting the piercing uh, doesn't really hurt but they couldn't describe what I felt like afterwards during the heal pr healing process. They all said that um, it hurts, the, the white crust hurt but they couldn't really explain it so I hope that my explanation was um, sufficient enough so you know how it feels. Um, also, one of the things about getting a septum piercing is that even the most experienced piercer um, doesn't know your, um, the anatomy of your nose, so you have to expect, now this doesn't happen all the time, you might get lucky, but sometimes you have to pierce your septum, tw uh, septum twice or even more, uh, you can do it on the same day or wait um, after a while. Um, and then go it, uh, and then go and get it done again. But the piercing may come out crooked. Um, my my nose um, actually isn't very septum friendly. I found out uh, I got my septum pierced two times, uh, and I have posted a video of that. But um, I got mine done by a very ex uh, experienced piercer. But I guess yeah, my nose just doesn't really <laughs> like a septum piercing. Um, and my knee is a little bit crooked, but um, only like a trained eye can see that. Uh, most people who look at my septum piercing, they just say that, okay, so you have a ring in your nose, you know, they don't really know what it's called and they, they really can't say anything about it. Um, most of them don't even get it, <laughs> so yeah, um, but that is what you have to anticipate with the septum. Now I'm going to go to my conches, which I'm going to show you if you don't know what conches are. Uh, conches are these piercings here. Okay. Okay, so got to read it now. <clears throat> okay, again like the septum piercing, actually getting the piercing didn't hurt. Um, it was like a low four 
uh, but the healing process was very painful, especially sleeping. Most people do toss and turn from side to side in their sleep, and when you sleep on your ear, you put a lot of pressure on it, and the piercing will start to hurt. It may even get to the point when you wake up during the night because of the pressure that was put on your ear, and the pain which resulted from that. The cartilage piercings always hurt more, um, and the healing process is difficult because certain complications can occur. I had the same experience when I got my first industrial pierced. Um, I couldn't sleep on that side for a few months, and it hurt a lot. Uh, but there wasn't anything wrong with it. My point is that if you are patient and you want both of your conscious pierced on either side, get one done, um, wait a few weeks, and, get, and then get the second one done. That way, if you need to lie on your side to actually go to sleep, you have the opportunity to do so. If you aren't patient or just don't want to pay more, then get them done at the same time, but keep in mind that you cannot, or at least are uncomfortable, sleeping on your side. Now this was all based on my experience. I didn't watch a lot of videos on conch piercings, especially like the uh, healing process ones. Um, so I'm not quite sure how it is on other people, but... Um, I've had the same experience with a lot of my cartilage piercings, my, most of my helixes, and now my conches, and my both of my industrial. Well, actually, no, my second industrial wasn't really that bad. Um, um, oddly enough, my traguses didn't hurt at all. Like that was the one thing that was um, kind of like. Um, well, it amazed me because I thought that they would hurt afterwards, but getting them done and the healing process didn't hurt at all. But I watched a few videos of um, Traeger's piercings and the people said that it's one of their most painful piercings and um, I was really, really amazed. Uh, but I guess that, kind of, uh, that proves that everybody's different, everybody's pain tolerance and pain level is different, so um, I like even if you watch like a ton of piercing videos and healing process videos, and they all say that that piercing was really painful. Um, so, but but to you, when you when you get yours done, um, it might not hurt. So really, it just goes down to how much pain you feel and all of that tolerance and stuff. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. I hope um, you enjoyed it and got some information from it and you know what to expect now. Um, if you have any requests about any piercings that I have or anything like that, <coughs> please let me know. I will be happy to do that. Um, I had a few complications uh, with my... Um, body jewelry collection update video. I was going to film it today, but um, I had a few complications, but that will be up soon. I think next week or the week after that, I, I will do that and yeah. So I guess this is it. So bye.